mean, that, that half-assed <laughs> apology that you gave ain't going to work. It, take it from me. I've pissed off quite a few women in my day, and and I, and, it, and and to, and to tell you the truth, is it's not worth it. You know, I've only pissed like off like maybe five or ten women in my life. But see, here's the thing: nursing is like ninety-two percent women. You managed to piss off over three million women. That's not good, Maureen. Take it from me. I've learned my lesson before. Take it from me. I, I I've been on the other end of that, and uh, yeah, that that half-ass apology that you gave, no, that's not going to work. But but I have one to give you as well. And I understand because, uh, because you know, I get tired as well. You know, I get tired to say stupid <laughs> too. And I mean, mainly like by, by calling Maureen a fat <laughs> that comes out sometimes, you know, that comes out. And people say I shouldn't fat shame her. But, you know, sometimes I would, I'm just tired, Ma Maureen. I'm just very, very tired. And, you know, kind of like you were when you said we were playing cards. However, the difference is, when you were up there with a microphone in your hand, here, let's look at this. I would submit to you, those nurses probably do get breaks. They probably play cards for a considerable amount of the day. You don't look too fucking tired to me. So, you know, that's that's a bullshit excuse. Let's talk about a bigger issue, guys. And I'm 100% I'm serious about this, that I think that that this is really a microcosm of how a lot of people feel about nurses. And I think that you know, it sort of bothers me that, that people can go on about this kind of stuff and, um, you know, have these assumptions about nurses and they've never even worked or ever been in the medical field. I mean, as a pilot, you know, I damn sure don't want somebody making rules on the on the FAA or, or flight rules or anything like that just because they've flown in a damn plane before. But what's worse, guys, is I think that us nurses, we don't take ourselves that seriously and we don't understand that the power we have. I put this thing out on Twitter and on Instagram today about, I don't think nurses understand the true power that we have and we really need to organize uh, to stop or to help educate people like this. I mean, they actually have this. And the problem is, is, is the, the ANA, the American Nurses Association, they're not going to do it. They're already in the pockets of both sides politicians. We need a really strong organization or something else. I don't know if it needs to be done through social media or whatever, but you know, there needs to be some education done on what exactly nurses and just healthcare professionals in general do. I mean, it's just such an ignorant comment for a, a senator at that to, to have. I don't, I don't understand that, but but yeah, so maybe one day we can we can organize or we can do something like that. That's the only thing I think would actually help this problem. And 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 again, maybe a union of some type, something similar to what California does. You know, this is not being like a right wing, left wing thing. So don't don't get that all messed up. But something needs to happen. Something needs to to change uh, and, and protect nurses. Staffing ratios are, are crazy. Hospitals can abuse us. Uh, patients can abuse us, and it's a uh, it's an ongoing problem that really does need to be to, it needs to be addressed somehow. So, uh, so anyways, guys, I don't know that answer. You know, I really don't. I I wish I did. Um, I wish I I wish I did know how to organize and do things like that. Otherwise, I'd be doing it. Um, but anyways, guys, so I still got a lot of stuff coming up here after after this video today. I'm going to get back to the regularly scheduled Nomad Nurse stuff and. Uh, do some travel stuff, some more nursing advice. I'm super excited about that. But uh, but anyway, so I will. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.